guys, you're watching Movie Guide. I'm Evie Bear, and this is the four things you need to know about Batman v Superman. And disclaimer, this dress may be a superwoman dress, but I also have a Batman one in my closet. Maybe next video it'll come out. First thing is Gal is actually gonna be an amazing Wonder Woman. Well, for me, with Wonder Woman, uh, I feel like I have been given such a huge opportunity to show the strong, beautiful side of women, finally. Second thing you need to know is Gotham and Metropolis, for the first time ever, are really close to each other. It's like Oakland and San Francisco, I guess. How this is going to affect the DC world, we don't know. The big rule that we broke is we put Gotham and Metropolis right next to each other. I don't know if it appeared that way ever, maybe somewhere. Um, but it made sense to us and worked for our story that they were kind of sister cities, um, you know, across the big bay. And so um, you had kind of, it's like Oakland and San Francisco kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Third thing is, not only did we question Ben Affleck as Batman, so did he. I think if I, uh... If I thought too hard about the actors who played this part before, I, I, I couldn't take a job. I mean, Tim Burton, Val Kilmer, and George Clooney, the great Christian Bale. And I, I talked to Zach about it. I was like, are you sure? You know, and he said, I have this vision. I have this idea for the guy, and you're perfect for it. And I said, well, what, what do you mean? He's like, at the end of his rope. He's older. He's like a burnout. <laughs> This is Lex Luthor, like we've never seen him before. He's younger and he has beautiful locks of hair, almost as long as mine. Do you know the oldest lie in America, Senator? The devils don't come from hell beneath us. The red capes are coming. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go watch the panel for the 15th time, and you should too. And subscribe right now so you have more news on Batman v Superman. Goodbye.